Hello then, my good friends of YouTube. Well, I hope you're all well. Just making um, a video, guys. Uh, just uh, showing you some good 18650 batteries and some shite 18650 batteries. Cheap makes, you know. Like the good old Ultra Fire, which are really poor. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to open one of these up and show you what's inside of them. <clears throat> And of course, then you've got your your decent mate mate batteries, which uh, let's have a look to the AOSA. Yep, look at that, twenty amp current. That's what they can draw up to at three thousand two hundred milliamp hour, three point seven volts. <clears throat> I've got absolutely loads of them, guys. Uh, I'll show you some more in a bit. How many I've got? I've got bloody loads. And of course, some more AOSA. Sometimes you know you don't know whether or not it's Osov or AOSA. <laughs> and these are forty amps at three thousand one hundred milliamps at three thousand one hundred at milliamp hours. Forty amp current draw. And I tell you something now: these batteries are absolutely brilliant. I, I mean, I paid about I think about ten pounds a piece for one of these batteries. They're that good. I mean, I use them. I don't use them for those vapor cigarette things. I use them for torches. That's right. Some good torches like your tiny, tiny monster. Um, your O lights, you know, Intimidator 2. And more O lights. <clears throat> and your, your classic. No name on this one is oh yeah there is Semlos which is really actually to be honest with you it's actually not a bad torch some good good flood um, you know output from these I mean I've got uh, head torches as well which uh, I run them on I've just got loads of torches absolutely loads of them <clears throat> but anyway back to the batteries. Now these E-Fest, which have got uh, a 20 amp current draw, these are not bad at all as well. I think these are about a tenner a piece as well. And these work very well. And these are only 3,100 milliamp hour, and you cannot go wrong with them. Now, I say this because I've tried so many different batteries in my, head to in my torches, and I've left them on. I mean, just leaving them on, just hours and hours and hours of, of, of continued draw um, from these batteries and they never let me down. These are um, another make of uh, Tofeng, Tofeng or whatever you want to say. I mean, they, they rate them at 4,000 milliamp hour, but you, these batteries don't go any further than three 600 um, for the size of what the current draw is. Um, but they do last pretty well. They do last pretty well. Now, of course, there's the other make, another make here, which are best for the um, Tiny Monster, um, which I got when I got the Tiny Monster. And this is the Inson 3400 milliamp. Uh, it doesn't give you a current draw, but I'd probably say these are probably up to 20, uh, 20 amps as well. Very close to, because these do last very well as well. Um, I got I get my batteries off Amazon, <clears throat> and absolutely brilliant. Uh, there's a couple of uh, there's another Oosa, and that is 42 amp hour to 600 milliamp. See, as you drop the the current, you get more amp for your current. So yeah, so not bad at all. I got that one free actually with a. Uh, because that came with these ones. I got three of those, because I'd ordered four of those, but I got three of those and one of these. So I contacted Amazon and they said, keep that one and we'll send you a replacement. And they did, did as they said. So the other ones which I don't rate, um, you normally get these sometimes free with torches and these are not very good um they're better than they used to be i mean these ultrafires are the worst ones stay well away of those 
got the crazy fire they're not bad i mean i use them for head torches um and they last they last a while but uh, nowhere near as good as something what you pay more for well the 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 thing is what they say is you pay for what you get and these so i just use them for the old head torch so um there's another good set of batteries four of these i bought some friends of these actually some at christmas some of these because these are not bad at all ebl 3000 milliamp hour and these work really well as well all amazon um i've got these with um what was it with the head torch i got these i can't remember no i got those free with this and mm, not bad <laughs> i mean when you get batteries free with something it's something's telling you isn't it unless you're paying more for the batteries and the charge or whatever you're getting this i got with uh what was it was it with i can't remember if it was with this one i got it i think i was it, I got it with an o-light i can't remember if i got this with an o-light which it's not a bad battery. It works out pretty well. It lasted over an hour or something on full beam, so on a with another torch, so it's not a bad to bad little battery. So I have got absolutely loads of eighteen six fifty batteries. Um, John Dragonman works at a uh, scrapyard, and he got a load of these come through. Um, as laptop batteries so I had six boxes I had four boxes off him and stripped them all down and uh, yeah getting a quiet collection of these what the bloody hell am I going to use with those probably build a big battery bank I'm not sure yet but they seem to be working quite fine so let's have a look inside of one of these shitty little batteries saying that this this one here if you can see this one, see if I can lift that up a bit. Hold on. That be better. Yeah, that's better. This one, I um, had this film. It's for an, uh, one of those vapors. Um, this is a Samsung make. You can just see it on the old rapid um, installation just there. And this is pretty evil. It's not a bad battery, actually. I think it's about 2,000 milliamp hour. See what I mean? Oof, that landed on my leg. Now, that is not a bad battery. Samsung, you can't go wrong. Now, let's have a look at this. So, these are all charged. This is, an, this is the Ultra Fire at, so they reckon, 4,200 milliamp hour. Now, look at this one. See? It hasn't got the... It's marked it a little bit, but not as good. Now this one's charged, and this is the Ultrafire. See, look at that. Absolutely nothing, no grunt behind it whatsoever. Now licking it, I can feel the voltage, but there's nothing behind it, because these are pants. <coughs> So these ultrafires, I wouldn't recommend. So let's get this one open. And have a look inside of it, shall we? Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Could do with a bit more light on this. I need subject. One second, guys. There we go. <clears throat> open there I wouldn't recommend this to uh, anybody if I'm honest with you because um, opening batteries is never a good idea I mean I've opened and I've destroyed many of these batteries so I know how they go but just to be on the safe side I wouldn't recommend doing this to a good make battery because if you are that thing out it's going to burst into flames in your hand just 
pause this while I open this up. Right, got it open. There's the top, there's the end cap. So that will sit into it like that. Right, when you look inside of this one of these things, you'd expect it to be full of the battery's content, wouldn't you? All the way up to the top. Where can you see inside of there? Let's get a light on it. <clears throat> One second, let me just put a battery in. <laughs> um, any one of these will do just to get this thing going. Put a, a SEM loss in it. Right. Just look inside of that. Can you believe that? That is down to there. Now they filled it up to there. I mean, if I'm honest with you, I bet even at the end of there, it doesn't go all the way to the end. It probably goes to there and there. If the battery in, uh, rolled up in there. Now to me, it looks like, I'm not actually 100% sure. Let's open it up and have a look. Let's take that out of there. So, do you know what it smells like? It smells like nail varnish remover. So, I had to uh, just pull down the sides of this battery just to get it out for you. So, I'm going to pull this out. Now, looking at this, it looks like lithium polymer, which I do not trust at all. And uh, as you can see, look, compared to a battery, that is what you get inside. How disappointing is that? Size of that. Lithium polymer. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> that's smelling it, it reminds me of lithium polymer whenever I've opened them up. Now, of course, there's the negative wire, which of course runs down the, from the base, of course, up to the top. Actually, it's the end winding. And then, of course, the middle winding just there, the, the, the layers against it with the, um, insulation between the two of course this is the other plate now of course if I'm honest with you I would not want to be putting those in a torch and if squeezing it it's giving out that liquid it smells a little bit like um, nail varnish remover now of course that's inside of the battery these things are dangerous so if I'm honest with you guys don't buy ultra fire batteries now of course I would take another one apart but I don't if I'm honest with you I don't want to be taking out apart a battery which of course is going to be a high graded battery because I don't want the thing to burst into flames or burn myself or whatever excuse me excuse me there guys got a message so this is <laughs> This is what is inside of a 18650 um, ultra fire battery. Stay clear of it. Now I don't know if there wasn't any power in this thing. Uh, yeah, there is a little bit of um, what's in there, but nothing like that's just the the moisture on this thing, um, which I wouldn't advise anybody to try and do. I've got um, a bucket of water down next to me, so if this bursts into flames, I'll just throw it straight into it. But, um, yes, um, there you go, guys. So, let's wipe my hands. So, there you go. That's what you call a nice selection. The torch is getting warm. They're not bad batteries. <laughs> So, there's some good old batteries for you. Some of my good old selection. Uh, my cup of coffee and my batteries, which of course I'm charging. <clears throat> so, if you're a, a battery enthusiast, a battery enthusiast, 18650 um, battery lover as I am, and of course for the torches that I put them in as I am, then of course make sure you buy a good graded battery. So thanks for watching guys, look after yourselves and be safe whatever you're doing, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, just thought I'd go out of my way there and just uh, share my um, 
yeah, of batteries. <laughs> Take care, guys. Speak to you again.